welcome to my video. I don't really have an intro. Today is going to be a story time. Yep. So, you guys see this guy right here? It's been about mm, a decade since I've had it, so it's a little bit smaller than what it was, but obviously you can still see it. How did I get that scar on my chin, you ask? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. It was well, a decade ago, so I think I was like 11. Yeah, I'm gonna say 11. I was in Girl Scouts. Yeah, shocker. I was in Girl Scouts. I turned out to be a real angel. <laughs> so, we were at camp. I can't really remember what camp it was. It was out of state, I think. I had these really stretchy green pants and when I say really stretchy <laughs> I was able to pull those suckers up all the way up to my chest and then stick my arms in them that was my first mistake <laughs> so while I was waddling around in my pantsuit it's pretty much a pantsuit my arms stuck inside I was waddling around thinking I was a green penguin <laughs> well this girl thought differently she thought I was a walking Christmas tree because my pants were green. She found this twine yarn, it was sparkly, so ribbon, whatever. Long rope, if you will. Started wrapping it around my head, around my neck and my shoulders, and she just kind of just raveled it around me. And I spun around and helped her with and have her ravel it around me because I thought it was funny. She's like, look it, you look like a Christmas tree. So I'm like, yay! I was not aware that the string was slowly falling down to my ankles. Can you guess what happens next? Yeah. I fell. How? <laughs> if you didn't guess that. Well, my dumbass <laughs> started to walk because I didn't think it was around, I did not realize it was around my ankles and I did not also think she was still holding on to the rope. So, <laughs> cartoon effects. <laughs> cartoon reaction time. I wailed like a baby. Took me a couple seconds to uh, realize what had just happened to me and have the pain run through my entire body. All because of that girl holding onto the rope. But, you know, I was at fault too because I decided to start walking with uh, my hands stuck in my pants. Because, you know, <laughs> my hands were free, I could have saved myself. But I couldn't because my arms were trapped in my pants. <laughs> so, <laughs> after wailing, uh, the leader, scout leader finally came up to me and wondering what the hell the noise was about and saw that I was stuck on the ground, flipped me over on my back, and just blood everywhere. Just everywhere. And she's like, oh my god, that's really bad. So let's put a butterfly band-aid on it. <laughs> one over here and one over here. Let's take her to the hospital. All while that girl is standing by. Like a dumbass, not knowing what the hell to do. And I'm shipped off to the hospital. <laughs> Thankfully, I was so lucky that the cut wasn't too deep that I needed stitches. <laughs> Instead, they used this special glue that acted as a layer of skin. So, pretty much turning into a scab because my skin couldn't do it itself. And well, you know what they say about scabs. Don't pick them or you'll get a scar. I was 11. You really didn't want to listen to that? No. <laughs> After about a week, I started picking at it. <laughs> it fell off. It grew back. Because, you know, my skin regenerating, trying to heal itself, you know, it's what skin does. 
Picked at it again and again until it did this. And uh, I was such a good trooper and I stopped crying after a while in the hospital and I was so good with the nurse that did the glue and it felt so weird. It was cold but warm at the same time. Like it just gave me this weird tingly feeling when putting it on. And I was so good at the, after the hospital that my troop leader took me to get a frozen Coke. Yay, a frozen Coke. And then when we get back, the little, <laughs> I don't know what to really call her, but uh, <laughs> she didn't say sorry. Um, you caused this. But you don't say sorry. Okay. 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 So I called her out on it. At dinner. And our, um, our scouts, we did this Adam's Family thing. We went to da 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 We did, you know, the whole thing. da 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 Before we ate. And we had this whole, uh, sing-along thing. And I... <laughs> Obviously, it's been a decade, so I can't remember the sing-along, but as we did the Adam's Family thing, uh, we had we did the sing-along. And, uh, and then we went around the table and did, like, our thanks or um, something we wanted to get off. We either did thanks, what we're thankful for, or we wanted to get something off our chest. And I went, well, I would really appreciate it if this little brat that I... Now can't remember her name, I want to say Melissa. Or Marissa. I think it started with an M. Something like that. Really snotty sounding name. <laughs> it went with her snotty looking face and attitude. Uh, and I just, I called her, I was like, I would really like for her to apologize for doing this to me. This is her. And then the scout leader had to go, um, would you like to apologize? I'm sorry. I'm so what was that? Would you please speak louder and be genuine to her? So she stands up, looks me dead in the eye and goes, I'm sorry I made you fall. Ooh, that tug up my heartstrings. Mmm, yep, I feel the genuine sorrow. Get out of my sight. Not thanks to you. I practically have a butt chin. Look at that. A butt chin because of you. Bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's how I got this scar. I love it every day. And if I ever saw her again, I probably one wouldn't be able to recognize her because I made damn sure I, her mind, her face just uh, exited my mind. Like I would just completely forget about her. I wanted to completely forget about her. Obviously the memory of this never went away, but I wanted to forget about her face. So I'm pretty sure if I ever saw her again, I would not recognize her. Um, if the off chance that she watches this and just a hint of remembrance. Do you still feel sorry? Probably not. Because you're a bitch. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, if any of you guys have some stories that you would want to tell me, if you have any scars you want to mention, comment down below how you got your scars. And, uh, I don't really have a sign off, so, uh, Bye.